everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. I'm doing a painting for you today on a 24 by 36 canvas. I'm going to do multiple ring pours and we'll do some tilting, maybe spin it out, we'll see what happens. So I'll show you my color. I have them arranged in groups from light, medium to dark. And I just took a picture and put that in my photo editor and turned it into grayscale. That helps me sort them easier. So we have titanium white. This is like a rose gold that I created with gold and silver and a little bit of red metallic. This is a regular gold. This peach is made with metallic gold and metallic red. This baby blue I just mixed with some blue and white. We have aqua green, a coral I made with magenta and orange, a bright blue, a lavender that I made with magenta, um, blue and some white, a magenta, a blue, dark blue green, deep purple, blue, and some black for the base. These paints are all mixed one to one with glue and paint. And then there's one part Floetrol and half part Liquidex Pour Medium. And then I add a little bit of water, but not too much with this one because it's a ring pour and I do want my paints to be a little more thick. So I'll probably do about nine ring pours on this canvas. And to keep them all different, but still match overall, I'm gonna make sure I pick at least one color from each of these categories. And then each ring can be different and they'll still blend in and match. Like say, for example, I could kind of match up, uh, say one corner could have purple in it and the other corner could have blue, but they still match because they're equal darkness. So overall it flows better. So I'm just gonna cover the canvas in black. That's the color that I've chosen for the base. And I'm hoping for a little bit to show up here and there to give it lots of contrast. So whenever I layer into cups, I like to do two colors and then white. And that helps give it enough white that it's bright enough. So let's pick like a dark color, then a medium color, and then white. Do a dark color, more of a medium, and then white. Nice small circles. Okay, let's have a look at this. This looks really good. The colors look amazing. So we got a little bit of cells going on in the ones I used white. Nice and clear. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. Okay, here we are dry. This looks really good. <laughs> 